Our language is alive in this land. The sounds that are made from the birds, the animals, this place is what gave life to our language to begin with. This is our community. This is our family. When we protect the land, we protect our culture, we protect our language. It just goes around and around in a big circle. It's all interconnected. The trees in this forest have witnessed many human generations. These ancestral gardens, or old growth forests, are part of a hundred million acre ecosystem along the west coast of North America called the Emerald Edge that has trapped and stored carbon for thousands of years. The carbon these trees sequester make them a powerful solution in addressing climate change. But for tribal nations like Tlaoquayet, who have lived here for millennia, forests represent so much more. Everything in our language is named for the verb that it does. Tlaoque, the word for tree, suchas, so suchitl is to hold something. Us is a suffix ending meaning on the land. So literally the word for tree means land holder. There's a lot of ecological knowledge within the names of everything in our language. So everything that is here right now, to me, it's really a gift from our ancestors in community with all life around us. Our relationship with cedar isn't just about its use, it's about its care. But it is important to only take what we need. The cedar provided so much for us. The bark for our clothing, our ring gear, our balers, our sails, for rope, for whale hunting, for canoes, our houses, our totem poles. Cedar is homies, yeah, and it actually was like the tree of life. Totem poles in our culture is basically like our constitution, teaching the uh, natural laws that our people did live under. Indigenous communities throughout the Emerald Edge continue to lead in the protection and care of their cultural lands, waters, and air, as they have for millennia. This approach respects the environment and looks many generations into the future to ensure the land, the water, and the communities continue to thrive. The Emerald Edge is the largest coastal temperate rainforest on the planet. It's home to wolves and grizzly bears and orcas. But what really ties the landscape together are the indigenous peoples that have lived here and stewarded these lands and waters since time immemorial. When you look around the world, lands and waters that are managed by indigenous communities are the most biodiverse, the healthiest lands and waters, even compared to those that might be in a traditional protected area or national park. We know from the data, we know from our own observation, that it's incredibly important, both globally and here in the Emerald Edge, that the indigenous communities have a say and have management authority to take care of their lands and waters. We are the cedar salmon people, 10,000 Tlaoquid at one point. We're living in these watersheds, and every tool, implement, our mode of transport, our house, our clothing, our hats, everything was red cedar. You could look at the mountain and you wouldn't know that we were harvesting and making our village. Entire villages and our vehicles were made of red cedar. You take these trees down, you're going to wait 800 years for the suitability of those logs. You can't build a longhouse out of second growth. You can't carve masks out of second growth. The Emerald Edge alone sequesters more than 300 million tons of carbon per year. And it's natural climate solutions like those happening here that if we enacted them globally, could sequester 11 billion tons of carbon per year, a third of what's needed for us to reach our 2030 reduction goals. It's incredibly important that we don't lose 
that carbon and that we keep these forests working and intact and sequestering even more. We are fully dependent on the existence of this place, but we also have a role as human beings, and it's not about being human supremacist and looking at the land only in terms of use, but it's care and reciprocity. Learn more about how Indigenous people's reciprocal relationship with the lands and waters are leading the way for natural climate solutions and how the Nature Conservancy and Nature United support this work. Visit nature.org slash emeraldedge.